Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm going to be creating another video for you guys today with Canva.com. If you're not quite sure what Canva is, it's a multi-tool for you to be able to design anything you want. So from postcards to resumes, t-shirts, we have uh, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, for, uh, let's see, videos, uh, also, so many options that you have, even presentations for your business, logos, business cards, worksheets, certificates, uh, even for your YouTube channel art, LinkedIn banners, so many different things. But today we're going to focus on a t-shirt design for you. And if you haven't already, you know, do subscribe, hit that bell, and drop a comment below. Don't miss any other future videos, and leave that comment so we can know what you need to know uh, to help you be that professional with Canva. And why I'm at it... Uh, Canva does offer you 30 day free trial for the pro edition and that's going to give you all of the features for free for 30 days before you commit to actually making a subscription. So be sure to take full advantage of that. You can find a link to take advantage of that as well in the, in the description below. So let's stop wasting time. Let's show you how to create a pretty awesome t-shirt, right? So of course we can go to templates and since a t-shirt is personal, you're going to find that under the personal tab here. So just below Weekly Planner, click T-shirts, and we're going to be able to see all the templates they have, such as Halloween, Christmas, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Father's Day T-shirts as well. And don't worry if you're thinking, oh, well, I want to create one for like Veterans Day, or I want to create one a little bit different. Don't worry, you can do it from blank. Uh, but we can also use this. And how I like to do with my videos is I love to use the template and also show you how to do it uh, with a blank slate as well. So let's give it a shot. Let's take a look. So since it's Halloween, <laughs> it's just around the corner. Let's say it's August now, middle of August. So now we know that Halloween's coming up. It's a perfect time to go ahead and make some t-shirts for you and your family or for you or for whatever reason you have. All right, so I want to click on Halloween and we can see the options they have, right? And if you want, you can just use the color as well. And to look at the color options they have for Halloween. So we can see that we have like a jack-o'-lantern face here, ghouls, skull and crossbones, right? You can see I have a skeleton joke, right? Uh, and when you want to see one up close, uh, run all you want. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. And you can see it's a front and a back. You can run. Uh-huh. All right, very good, but you can't hide. That's pretty cool. You want, you want. All right, very cool. And if I would like it, I can just hit this heart, and I can save that design for later. See, add it to likes uh, or dislike it, okay? And you can see the different options, right? How you doing? Right now, that's pretty funny. So they have some jokes, right? So you can see that they have a lot of these different designs, right? Uh, and we can look... Let's see, oh, third eye open. All right, that's pretty cool, too. Let's we'll say we've made an uh, invitation as well for this. All right, very good. Future proof. All right, very good. And you can see that these uh, are our choices here. Uh, let's see, let's do one like this. All right, but it's pretty basic. Booyah, booyah, right? So let's customize this template. <clears throat> now, I want to remind you guys of something. So where what's really cool, again, about what I like about this with Canva is not only, when, so if I'm creating a t-shirt, let's say I'm a business, right? So if I'm creating a t-shirt, for example, I can create the t-shirt, I can take the same design, I can create business cards from it, or uh, maybe a poster or something for maybe a, like a coupon discount, right, to come in with the same picture even. I can even take that same design as well and use it for multiple things, even my calendars. So if I want to stick to this design for this theme or whatever, I can do that. Uh, or you can change it. So Canva really helps you with every aspect of your business as far as design goes. Uh, and so even if you want to send an email with the same one, so and this is what we're going to go over again today, and you've heard me say this probably many, many times, is that now, uh, you can see that it's a still picture, but you can also animate it and have it moving. So if you create a post the same way, so you can see it and it can be animated from your Instagram, your business Instagram, your personal Instagram, your Facebook, or even your business page on Facebook. 
as well. So email marketing, it's great too. So they open it up. They have this like really cool animated, uh, animated design as well. So uh, I'll show you how to do that and to keep the same design the same way. So once we create the design, we can come here and I'll show you exactly how to keep it as a still picture and how to keep it animated for <laughs> your mm, your emails or so forth and so on. All right. So now this is our design. So we have boo, we have one page, and you can see when you scroll down, you have the second. So it's going to be like a front and the back, right? Think of page one as the front and page two as the back. So we can change them, right? Uh, if you like this, you know, hey, that's a pretty cool design. You can, we can change it though, but I don't like the color, right? So when you click, like, because this is a text, you can double click. You can change the color even uh, to like whatever. Right, uh, let's see. We can see. So you can see we changed that to a pink. Now I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna make it orange. Uh, I don't like any of these oranges so much, uh, so I'm going to customize my orange. And make it just a little bit more. Because I like the red, dark, scary orange. There we go, more Halloweenish, right? So you can see that I changed that. All right, now I move that forward, so the ghost. Uh, and let's see, now you see this shadow color here, how it has this effects color. Uh, we can actually change that too. And this is the effects, so the glitch, the color here. Let's see, I want to make sure, yes, that blue. All right. All right, effects, uh, that color, I want to change to so maybe like black right so now it's more like a gray shadow right so it's a little bit different all right so now we have that boo and we can change him to as a color so you select him and you can see the multiple colors like these two right so I'm going to change the purple to maybe black so he has the black eyes and mouth and the body I can change orange too right or that's the body in the mouth so I will select through and change the purple we can make him orange right and then we can change this to black right the dots and we can change this to purple and that's the inside of him right so we can change it to something like that right so you can see that I'm actually changing these colors as we go uh, but a ghost isn't really going to be red right but I can make him like this uh, with an orange uh, and this is just changing this design too and if I want to add something I can go to elements and coming to elements, I can choose something to, so I'm going to type in Halloween. And it's going to give me a lot of different options, right? So if I like this, and maybe I don't want him this way, I can rotate him. Right, the same. Uh, even the same if I don't want Boo, which uh, I'm not really a big Boo fan. Uh, so I can move him up, but I do like how he is. And I can make him smaller the same. I just do this and of course you can delete it from blank and this is practically blank now it's just like one element as you can see right here on the left so you can do this as well so I can choose this goes the same and I'm going to rotate him and now this is creating my shirt right so different options here <clears throat> now you see how the animations are right here how they're moving uh, they will stay still on their page um, they will stay still when you do this. Say so about where he's just looking straight into you. Or he can be animated uh, for that marketing campaign, that Facebook post or whatever. This is how you'll see him move. The same, uh, you can animate him as well, this ghost, and how he'll show in, right? So how he's just slowly moving in, right? Uh, so he'll remain here when it's a still page, but when like they open up on the post, he'll actually come in like this. And something else that's cool, so with the page right here, I can come to the background as well and change the page background as well uh, for this. So I can go to background and I can select the color for the background. Now you see how he doesn't really have an outline because he's the same color of that orange, right? And so we can see this as well. And this is how he'll be. Uh, so we'll say an orange shirt uh, or this orange design, right? And so with this, now we can come back to elements and we can continue to add more. So I added the eyes, 
Uh, so we can leave this ghost as well. Kind of keep it creepy. You can see they're a little bit different design. He's a little bit more goofy than this one, right? It's kind of like more scary, like more classic looking. Uh, but they have uh, this choice. So you can kind of like continue on through. And also, if you want to upload your own special picture that you have, you can do this through uploads right here on the left. You can upload the images right here. Just do this, and then what you can upload it from that your device. So if you're using uh, your cell phone uh, with Canva, you can use uh, that's that device or your computer, Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, or Dropbox. So you can upload that from, and you can just drag. Of course, it'll come up here to your images or videos or audio, and you just drag and drop, and voila, it's finished, right? <clears throat> and photos too. Even if you want to have something creepy in photos. Right, um, say Halloween here, and so you can just use this if you don't want like this kind of design, you can use that. And let me show you what I mean. So, of course, I showed you how to change all of this. So, I'm gonna delete so I have a blank page, or I can just duplicate the page or create a new page. But I'm gonna delete this one, and let me show you what I mean. So, I can take this hand and drag and drop, and there we go. Do you see? So, you can even choose a, a picture from this. And I'm, I like the hand deal. That's pretty cool for me. And I'm going to stretch out this to the design. And there we go. Now I have this design. I can come back to elements and I can add something pretty pretty cool too. Right? So this is just elements like stickers and like little gifts as well. So you have that, that, that choice as well. So you can see there's also this goofy hand. Right? So if I click on this page. And that's another thing. So when you go to click on something uh, let me move him uh, make if you have two pages make sure you click on the page you can see the blue outline here because uh, if I click on here and I double click this picture he's going to show up here let me show you what I mean click click and you see how he popped up right so we don't want that so that's why whatever page you wanted to add click on the add and then add the element now I'm going to show you I'm going to make this design here just a little bit more and I'm going to move this hand here and I am going to rotate him and you can see how I'm making this work and scroll on down right and that's this now I'm gonna double click again for another hand now you see it's like two hands reaching this way uh oh maybe more than one delete okay now check this out uh, I can do something pretty cool so go to flip and I can flip horizontal and I can rotate so it looks like he's grabbing. So now I've just made this hand. All right, so now we just did this. <clears throat> and even uh, if I want to put him here and the eyes up here, let's see. Now I can put Halloween pumpkin. All right, so let Halloween pumpkins kind of come up. And because it's some kind of like cartoonish, I want something cartoonish too. Um, we can do as well. So we can scroll down and look at the options that we have. Or the eyeball, that looks pretty cool, right? So he's pretty big. And we can scale him down to make him pretty small too. And of course, it'll be still for just the image, right? So we can do that as well. Uh, in order to delete, right click and then delete here we can do and we can change something like maybe him and so you see that how we we can kind of really make this look pretty cool right all right so of course this pumpkin's black and you can change the colors so you see this banner of colors here you can change them too you can change them to orange and he's hard to see white all right, so you can change that as well. Um, so uh, the best bet here would probably be black uh, or let's see white. That's the lines. Um, and so we have the white, right? So you can change him however you want, right? So now uh, you can change his color. You, you get the idea, right? And so the same. So you can make him a little creepy, uh, and you just move over, and this is it. All right, and let's see, maybe you stack him on top, and you don't want him to be stacked on top, right? You can actually click, right-click, 
and then bring forward. And you can see he's kind of in between, right? And the same here goes for here. Like if you want the eyes to be on the pumpkin, for example, you can bring forward or send it backwards, right? Uh, let me click on the eyes and I want to bring him forward and bring forward again. And now you can see. So I can bring the eyes kind of like this to kind of cover up that. All right, now, uh, of course, I'm going to show you how to work with this. Now the eye color, how we have it that gray, we can make it black as well. And this color we can make black. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. There we go. Now we made this. Now we fully customize. And I'm going to send that hand back because it's kind of in the front. And there we go. Now you see that we've changed the pumpkin and to have that one little special deal, right? And we can change it with the mouth too <coughs> uh, because we did get rid of the mouth. So you can kind of see what elements you have. Right, so you have mouths, right? So it's like Halloween, like features with mouths. So we can even delete this. Let's say Fang. Now we have Fangs. Right, so we can bring this down a little bit. And you can see how we created that one little special pumpkin to fit exactly how we want, right? And so you can choose all of these. Uh, these options, and you've seen how I just created that. So now you can see he looks a little funny, right? Uh, so there we go. And you can see the design is kind of somewhat the same. So, all right. So now we have this for Canva, and this is the hand. Let's delete that. And this is the picture, right, that we have here. And, of course, all of this can be uh, animated, too, if you're speaking of. Uh, speaking of the, ah, let me show you this. So when you, uh, for example, when you drag and select all of these, you can right click and you can group them together as like one part of the design. And we can come to animate and it shows all of them together. Right? So you can see the effects as well. Right, so the same for the ghost, right? So you can see them. All right, and so that's how you're going to make all of those animations from that as well. Uh, so uh, you you kind of get the idea, right? This ghost too, we can animate him to do something. Uh, let's see. So, and this is just animation for when you're wanting to do this for the email marketing deal. Or not. So this is your shirt design. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, as you see it in the still picture, right, like how at this moment, uh, that's how it's going to look. So now you understand how to design your t-shirt. Now, when we come through uh, and you like that, or you can choose the pictures, you get that idea already, right? Uh, it doesn't make sense to kind of go over <clears throat> too much. This is just our theme for today. Now you can add a chart to it like this, and you can update that information as well. You can add emojis. Uh, Pexels logos, your own logos, right? You can do all of this as well uh, to it. Pretty easy, pretty fast. But just creating the Halloween uh, thing for us, uh, we can come through, and this is like, okay, it's my T-shirt. Uh, I want this, right? Uh, so we can come through and go to right here, the three little dots, and you can download it, right? And you can present it, share the link, and this is where you can share it uh, here to your Google Drive, personal Instagram, business, etc., right you can do that as well here uh, also when you click on this download button now this is going to be what's important so if you're making it animated and you're going to use this for your Facebook or you're going to use this for whatever uh, keep it an mp4 right if you uh, want to create a gif from it you can here with no sound <clears throat> but uh, for PNG for PNG this is really going to be good for because it's a high quality for your t-shirt uh, you can have this as well and you can choose the size of that right here and you'll just download and it will download and save for you right uh, so this is how you're going to do it all right so you're gonna be able to change all of this transparent background right and you'll click download 
and it will download for you. And you can see it's downloading, and it'll pop up in your window. And voila! That's it. That is your shirt. Pretty cool, right? All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. And be sure to catch us on our next videos for some more awesome tips and tricks for that multiple tool of Canva. All right. Ciao.